pacing back and forth Oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here All your shots have scored No, scratching at the scars you left on my skin well, We fight and we fall and we rise through it all Till we find what we want and we lose it all again Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me in Just me, just you Hello my gems, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm so glad you clicked on this video. In this video, I am gonna be focusing on brows, bronzer, blush, and highlighter, and a few tips that, with a few different brushes that I use, maybe that it will help you if you're over 35 or over 40, I am 42, so I have to do my makeup a certain way. And maybe I have a tip that will help you. So if you are interested in that, then go ahead and keep on watching and we will get right into this video. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Okay, let's get started. Foundation on. Yes, I've had to mix colors because I haven't been tanning. So I'm kind of tan in some areas and kind of not in some others. Okay, I want this. I love this brush. This is the Eco Tools um, angled brush and it comes, it does not come by itself. So like if you're going to buy it, you have to buy like the pack of it. And I'm, I'm getting to the point where I may have to buy several packs of these, um, even though I don't use the other brushes, but I use this one. This one works so well for your eyeliner, your um, brows, whatever you want to do. Now, my brows I have been struggling with because I had 90s brows. So my brows have separation in hair which I want to fill in and make look perfect and the only way to do that is to have a pencil that is sharpened beyond belief okay and I like the new brow bar that we got the brow bar by Rima see I've used this pencil several times what I actually need to do and I do hope that the camera is focusing on this but anyhow um is you got to sharpen it. You have to have a sharpener. That is just something that you really need to have because you would not believe how many times, you know, we're just, oh, I don't know where my sharpener is. And you just want to go in and you're like, and then that's, those are the days that you go in and try to use it anyway. And then you're like, oh, my makeup looks like shit. I feel like crap. Yeah. Just, you're going to feel so much better about everything after you sharpen this process. Okay, so you want to make sure it is sharpened as much as you can get it sharpened without it breaking off, you know, that kind of thing. And this one, getting to the point where it's not going to sharpen exactly to a point, which makes me sad because that point makes such a huge difference in my brows. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use this today. I'm actually going to go in with this brush right here and I'm going to go into the powder and here's what I'm going to do. Okay. Now I have hairs growing that need to be growing. So, and I've got to fill them in. That is what I am doing with the powder. I am filling in the bald spots of my brows so they can look fuller and the only way to get it precise is to have a really good brush you need it and yeah there is like you can use brow gel if you need to after this whatever but this is this is definitely the only brush for me that works well the other brushes are too thick and it comes off looking like you've done your brows and I don't want it to look that way I'm super picky about this and there has been it's been years since I've been doing my brows and since I got recertified to be a makeup artist and all that. And um, it took me a while to really figure out how to get my brows to grow back and how long it, it took. And then there were times where I didn't want to wait anymore. I just kind of tweezed and then, you know, you 
end up over tweezing at times and it's just super upsetting okay so now I'm halfway done and what I want to do is I want to grab a spoolie I need me a good spoolie because spoolie okay do you see that okay you can see where I put the powder you can see where I still need to fix it all that fun stuff I really need water I need water that's what I need guys water. so now my brows are done but they're not done I need to clean them up with concealer and this is where your thicker brushes that you can find pretty much anywhere this is a Morphe M165 and this you could use for your liner and your brows but I don't use it for my brows because it doesn't give me the precision that I need so I use this for my concealer and we're gonna go in with the dose of colors medium tan number 18 because being that this brush is thicker and you never ever ever want to put the concealer right where you want it you always want to put it um, down here a little bit and then work your way up and then you want to let the angles of the brush do the work for you like you can see how this is gonna help me get the precision that I want and now that I've got it over here okay let me just kind of blend that it also helps with you don't have a harsh line but yet you have you have what you need right here it's cleaned up and I recommend if you want your eye a little bit brighter you can use a concealer that is a little bit lighter than your skin but for the most part you want to use the correct concealer so it'll blend in seamlessly and it doesn't really look like you've done this so keeping that in mind and pulling that concealer down like I did it before then relaxing your eye you can go in and get the precision that you want without a harsh line being left behind and then you can clean up the tail, make it look how you want it. Okay, and then if you do end up having a line right there, don't freak out. You can go in with a puff or a beauty blender and straighten that out. Like, you're just gonna blot it almost. Like you would use blotting sheets. Okay. At this point, um, oh, I'm going to use some under eye concealer and then I put on my foundation or use a little bit of under eye concealer. Not a lot, but we're going to grab, since I did the buffing method today, we're going to grab our foundation brush and that is how we're going to blend our concealer because you can actually do this in several different directions and it's not going to mess up your buffing. The buffing technique just makes your pores look smaller without you having to worry about a primer and all that stuff. Okay. Now we want to set the face and we are going to go in with the puff that we used because we want to press this into the skin to set it and I think I'm going to go in with which do I want oh I think I've been using the tart yes it's over here okay let's let's continue using the tart and I think I've got a puff in here as well I do it's a little bit different but that's fine this will this will work okay now it's going to make things a little bit darker because this does have a tint to it which is fine okay 
Okay. Yes. Put it everywhere. Put it everywhere. All right, guys. Yes, we're putting that on our eyes. Okay. Now, we've done that. We can move on. We're almost getting to, well, not almost really good. It depends on what kind of look I want to do. But we, we got our base. We have our base. Now, we can grab a bronzer and we can do some bronzing. And, um... That's what I'm gonna do. What am I gonna use for a bronzer? There is a few that I can use. Let me see. I think, what one was this? This came in Ipsy. Here's a bronzer here. And we're going to start with, actually, you know what? Let's use the Complex Culture brush. This one actually works pretty well this bronzer hmm I'm not so sure bronzer you don't want it too low right where the cheekbone is like that to see the difference okay just the difference in putting a tiny bit here and then if you want to contour don't bring it out past where the nose is don't 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 okay you can also do the hairline. All I did was swipe once. This is not a bad bronzer. Okay. Now you want to go ahead with a powder brush. Something like this. Go ahead and work it in. Go work it up. I do not bake. I have tried that technique before, and I know a lot of popular YouTubers do that, but to be honest with you, with my mature skin, no, it doesn't work. And I don't enjoy that. I just feel like you should just put the bronzer where it works for you and don't bring it down too low. And then, of course, you know, pay attention to how you have everything so this way you're not, you know, worrying about your face looking droopy because you <laughs> and putting extra powder there and then having it cake and all that fun stuff yeah no we don't want that all right so now I've got a new I think I've got a new blush brush that came in the ipsy bag and I'm pretty sure I put that in here somewhere I think this is it here and I am liking the hourglass blush lately and you can build this it's really light but you want to mix it with your bronzer. Don't bring it down too far. Ooh. Apple of the cheeks, back. Mix it with the bronzer. You can put some on your nose if you want to, on your chin if you want to, and the forehead, but you don't need a lot. This is something that you can build. If you want more pigment, then by all means, go ahead and add it. You know, I'm barely touching my skin with this brush though, and I've got my hands here. So I can control where the brush goes, how it lays on my skin, all that fun stuff. And then we've got our bronzer and our blush done. Now at this point, you know, I could show you the highlight and be done with it, but I want to do my eyes. So I am going to do my eyes off camera and then we're going to go back and we're going to talk highlight. Yes. Okay. So I usually wear lashes, but I have not put on lashes yet. I have the Jaclyn highlight accent palette and this is the flash this is her 2019 collection. Um, I am going to use her brush collection. I have my blush and my bronzer from when I did it before, and then I use the Huda Rose Gold palette. So what I want to do right now is that we're going to focus on an inner corner highlight, a brow bone highlight, and then of course our 
regular highlight here. I'm excited. I actually love this formula and her new formula or her new launch I should say for her highlighters and everything that just came out her blush and bronzer duos I really really wanted. Um, I'm hoping that they go into Ulta though and I'm able to get it. She did Sparks and Iced. Um, I think they were singles which I thought was really cool but there's so much in here that I haven't I mean and I always use it and I have not hit I just can't see myself hitting pan on this um anyhow we are gonna go in with iced and we need a couple different brushes Jacqueline does have in her master brush collection with Morphe the collaboration a brow moon highlight brush and we're gonna use this and we are gonna actually dip into gleam okay and we are going to highlight our brow bone with that look at that highlight oh, you see that isn't that crazy that's without setting spray it is just a badass highlight so yeah the way to have your highlighter pop is having everything to do with smooth skin no hair on the skin, a good highlight like this. This formula is amazing. And there is, um, she's got an inner corner highlight brush too. And it's just small and it's like this mini, um, Luxie round. This is the Luxie 141. I'm just going to go ahead and use this one because I have it. I'm going to put it into sparks and I'm just going to twirl it. And then I am going to put that right here. I really do want extra. That is the one that I need. Okay. I don't know if this is going to pick up on camera. Hopefully it does. But I've dipped it in. It's not as bright and booming as what extra would be but that's okay so we're just going to kind of blend this up and blend this down you can use your stiffy for that too you guys should know what stiffy is by now and if you're new hi welcome you will get to know me and the stiffy the brush that i call the stiffy okay so here we are with our highlight. Inner corner, I'm gonna kind of swoop it up, swoop it over. And now it's nice and light. Like I'm I'm liking that. That's that's perfect. Okay, now we've got this highlighter brush. This is one of them. And I think we're gonna go into iced. I'm just going to now gently look at that Ooh, yes 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 ever so lightly like my fingers are down here at the brush we're just woo that's it it's amazing put a tiny bit on the tip of my nose you can do the Cupid's bow as well. I always like a, something right there. I just feel like, I don't know, it completes me. You can put a tiny bit on your chin in the middle of your forehead if you want, but look at that highlight. And then what you can do is use your setting spray. This is the Tarte, almost ate it. Good job, Karen. This is Tarte setting spray. And then you can take your puff or your sponge and just kind of blend it make sure it's it's melted in with the skin like that and now I would put on my eyelashes I don't even know if I have any eyelashes left I've got these really really fake ones that I don't really like that much I need to go eyelash shopping yes so what do you guys think okay so I am finished with my look. What do you guys think? 
I love doing makeup tutorials and I love showing you guys the tips and the things that I have learned over the years. So if there's something that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. Um, I finished up with some lashes. I have the Hank and Henry lashes and lately my subscription with them, I usually get three pairs of lashes a month and it's there's only one that I really, really like a lot. So I, I don't think I'm going to be getting that subscription for too much longer. Um, I definitely am going to venture out and get some more Lily lashes and try some more magnetic lashes. And we're going to see what we can come up with. But if you have any questions about brows or anything, really, I mean, I did focus on brows and blush and bronzer and highlight in this video. And I hope that you enjoyed it. But if there's anything that you want me to do or review, put in the comments down below. And I just want to say thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Take the little red button, turn it to gray, and then hit that post notification and turn it on to all notifications so you will be notified when I upload. And I will see you guys real soon in another video. Bye!